Assalamu alaikum dear students uh, welcome to 10th film technology course uh, lecture number uh, 26 I am Dr. Parvez Ahmed uh, in this lectures uh, we will have a comparison uh, between the evaporation and the uh, sputtering techniques so let's proceed uh, towards uh, today's lectures uh, so here uh, you can see that uh, we have uh, uh, we have we have put the properties on the left hand side just like you can see it here in the middle we have the, the evaporation techniques the properties of the evaporations uh, the properties are the parameters of the evaporation techniques and on the right hand side we have put the, the parameters that that being utilized and the sputtering techniques so let's start with the property uh, that is uh, the rates so uh, the rates and the evaporations uh, technique is basically very high that is uh, thousand atom, uh, uh, thousand atom layer per second, uh, which is the, I mean, so, uh, an aspiring technique is almost one atom atomic layers for a uh, seconds. So the techniques controls, uh, if we talk about the techniques control as a property, so it's possible uh, in the evaporations, uh, but it's very easy uh, while uh, we are doing the sputtering uh, of the thin film, or, or we are trying to deposit the thin film via the sputterings. So the materials, uh, I mean, uh, the type of the material that we want to utilize, uh, I mean, uh, it's limited and the evaporation techniques, uh, but uh, there is no limits on the uh, type of the technique to be utilized uh, for thin film depositions and the sputtering technique. That is, uh, we can say that almost uh, uh, the type of the material that we can utilize and the sputtering technique is almost unlimited. So cleanness. Uh, cleanness and the evaporation is very good. I mean, it's good. Uh, similarly, is also uh, I mean the same is good and the and the sputtering. Uh, substrate heatings. I mean, there's uh, no substrate heating and the evaporations, but we can have uh, this. Uh, I mean, the substrate heating and the uh, uh, and the sputtering techniques. So surface roughness is very little and the evaporations. Uh, and uh, uh, I mean we can have the surface roughness uh, due to the uh, iron bombardment and the uh, sputtering technique. Uh, Self-cleaning uh, is not possible in the evaporations, uh, but uh, it is I mean then uh, pole reversals. Uh, I mean is possible. We have pole reversal and the uh, sputtering uh, techniques. I mean we can do uh, the self-cleanings and the sputtering by I fold reversals, uh, but we remember uh, self cleaning is not possible and evaporations. So multi layers. Uh, I mean, if you talk about the multi layers properties, so multi layer properties uh, in the evaporations, uh, it depends on different holders. Uh, but in the case of the sputtering, it depends on the different uh, targets. So uh, addition. Our additions uh, of the materials, uh, I mean, is uh, if you consider the evaporation, so it's lie in the medium range, uh, but uh, in the sputtering, it's uh, the addition is very uh, good. Uh, shadowing effect is large in the evaporations, but it's uh, smaller in the uh, sputtering techniques. So film properties, uh, film properties difficult to control uh, via evaporations, uh, but in sputterings, uh, it can be controls. Equipment cost. Uh, of the evaporation is uh, lying in the medium range. I mean, it's medium is not too expensive, not too cheap. Uh, but if we consider that for the sputtering, so the equipment costs, uh, I mean, the sputtering apparatus, uh, they are quite expensive. Uh, if we talk about uh, the evaporations, so we can say that uh, it's a low energy. Uh, I mean, and this technique we can utilize uh, a low energy atoms. Uh, which unlike the sputterings uh, where we can utilize only high energy atoms. So uh, in evaporations uh, we have uh, in evaporation we have high vacuum path. So it means that we have few collisions a line and line of side depositions a line, uh, line of side depositions and we can have little gaze and the film. I mean uh, the gaze or the we can say that the impurity gaze I mean, there is very little possibility that it might be in the final uh, deposited thin film. So, if we talk about uh, the same conditions uh, in the sputtering, so sputtering is basically performed in the low vacuum relative to uh, evaporations, and we have uh, the plasma path. The plasma path is being utilized in this uh, in the sputtering techniques. 
So unlike the evaporations, we have uh, many collisions and the sputterings. Uh, similarly, uh, we have less line of side depositions and we can have the impurity gaze and the uh, deposited uh, thin film. Uh, so again, if we talk about the uh, uh, if we talk about the evaporations, so uh, evaporations we have larger grain size. Uh, if we compare that with the sputterings, so in the sputtering we have a smaller grain size. Uh, in evaporations we have uh, fewer grains orientations, uh, which if we compare with the sputtering, so in the sputtering we have many grains orientations. Similarly. Uh, Evaporations have uh, poor additions, which if we compare with the sputtering, so sputterings in comparison to evaporation have a uh, better uh, addition. Uh, in evaporations, uh, we have, uh, just like we mentioned previously, we have low energy atoms, that is we can utilize the atom uh, with the energy approximately equal to 0 0.1 electron volt. So that if we compare with the sputtering, so in sputtering, so we normally utilize high energy atom for ions, uh, high energy atom or ions, uh, they, they must have an energy in the range of 1 to 10 electron volt. So as a result uh, of this, uh, we can have a denser films, uh, smaller grain size and uh, better additions. So in evaporation, uh, in evaporation, we normally utilize high vacuums. Uh, we can have directional uh, depositions that is good for the uh, a laptop and uh, we can have a lower impurity uh, which if we compare with the sputtering so in sputtering we have low vacuum as compared to the evaporations similarly uh, in the sputterings we have poor directionality a uh, better step coverage uh, gaze atoms and plotted and the thin film uh, in the form of impurity so in operations we have a point source uh, so uh, as a result we can have poor uniformity uh, but in sputtering we have parallel plate source uh, and we can have better uniformity so evaporations uh, component evaporate at different rates so as a result we can get uh, poor stratometry of the uh, deposited thin film uh, but if we consider the same in the sputtering, so in the sputtering all the components sputter with the similar rates. So uh, this ultimately results or maintain uh, the sti stoichiometry of the deposited thin film. So uh, in these tables uh, we have a comparison of typical thin film deposition technology. So here you can see that on the left hand side we have the techniques uh, that, that are mainly utilized, the popular techniques that are being utilized uh, for uh, the diffusion of the thin film. So in this we have, the first we have thermal evaporations, uh, then we have A-beam evaporations, sputterings, plasma enhanced uh, chemical vapor depositions and lower pressure uh, chemical vapor depositions. So here you can see that uh, the materials uh, that we can utilize in thermal evaporations uh, I mean, we can utilize metals or low melting points materials. Uh, they are normally utilized in thermal evaporations. The uniformity in thermal uh, uh, evaporation is poor. Uh, we have high impurity in thermal evaporations. The grain size normally range from 10 to uh, 100 nanometers. Uh, the film density is poor. Uh, rate uh, deposition rate is from 1 to 20 angstrom per second. Uh, substrate temperatures uh, normally lie in the range of 50 to uh, 100 degrees centigrade. Uh, and uh, it has some uh, directionality. Uh, but do remember, uh, uh, thermal evaporation uh, is normally the cost of this technique is very low. So if we talk about the E-beam evaporation technique, so it can utilize, uh, I mean the source material, it can utilize uh, both for metals and for uh, the dielectrics. And just like thermal evaporations, uh, the uniformity uh, is uh, very poor. Uh, we can have, uh, and this we can have uh, relatively a lower impurity. So it means that we can get, uh, I mean the thin film uh, almost, uh, I mean uh, in the, uh, the fair form. 
uh, we can have the grain size. Uh, uh, I mean, it's almost similar to that with the uh, thermal evaporations. Uh, film density again uh, is uh, four, and this uh, techniques. Uh, deposition rate is from uh, 10 to 100 angstrom per seconds. Uh, substrate temperature is almost similar to thermal evaporation. That is in the range of 50 to 100 uh, degrees centigrade. Uh, uh, directionality, yes, it has. Uh, but the cost uh, of this technique is uh, high. Uh, if we consider the sputtering technique, so sputtering can utilize both uh, metals uh, and dielectrics. Uh, uniformity in this technique is very good. Uh, impurity, uh, I mean, uh, the impurity in the final product is uh, low. And the grain size in this technique can be as small as uh, approximately 10 nanometers. Uh, film density is good. Uh, uh, and it has uh, different uh, deposition rates for uh, the metal and dielectric. For the metal, the deposition rate is uh, almost 100 angstrom per second. And for the dielectrics, uh, it's lie in the range of 1 to 10 angstrom per second. The substrate temperature is approximately uh, 200 degrees centigrade. Uh, so it has uh, some degree of uh, directionality. But the cost, again, the cost of the experimental setup is very high. Uh, and we have plasma enhanced CVD, uh, so it's uh, uh, mainly uh, for uh, this technique is mainly utilized uh, for dielectrics. Uniformity of the material is good, uh, impurity very low, the grain size lie in the range of 10 to the 100 nanometers, film density is good, uh, deposition rates lying uh, in the range of 10 to 100 angstrom uh, for seconds. Uh, substrate temperatures lie in the range of 200 to 300 degrees centigrade. Uh, it has some degree of directionality. Uh, the cost of the setup is very high. Uh, then we have uh, the last we have low pressure chemical vapor depositions. Uh, again, it's been utilized mainly for the dielectrics. Uh, film uniformity is very good, uh, uh, very low impurity in the finally uh, deposited thin film. Uh, grain size lie in the range of 1 to 10 nanometers. It has uh, excellent uh, film, uh, film density. Uh, diffusion rates lie in the range of 10 to 100 angstrom per second. Substrate temperature lies uh, in the range of 600 to 1200 degrees centigrade. Uh, if we consider directionality uh, or directional, so uh, this technique is uh, isotropic. And the cost of the experimental setup is uh, very high. So this is a brief comparison of the experimental parameters and the uh, advantages and disadvantages of the most popular techniques uh, that are mainly utilized for the depositions of the thin film. So uh, that's all uh, we have for this lecture. Thanks for watching. See you in next lecture. Till then, bye bye.